the basics of makeup artistry. What I think the fun thing to do is, and how you keep up on trends, is a lot of watching TV. TV train changes with trends really quickly, so you can always see what the newest happening thing is with makeup. Movies are great too, but they're, they're always going to be a little bit more classic than TV is, because it just changes from week to week. So, um, Viola Davis is rocking some amazing makeup right now, and I really wish I could pull that up. Uh, and it is just, it's very sophisticated. Oh, I was like, well, I want to see it. I, I know. It, okay, go ahead and shut that off for a second. Um, so, shit. when we, when, I think the easiest thing to do is to find a look and recreate it. I love recreating a look because that means if you're not creative, like I'm not the most creative person in the world when it comes to coloring, but I can copy like a just an awesome person like I'm a great copycatter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Viola Davis's and this is the look that we're going to if you just do Viola Davis and how to get away with murder it's one of her cover shots there it's a classically beautiful look that's gonna go with everything in fact you see this makeup on her with pretty much whatever outfit she's wearing so what we're gonna do we first we gotta start with the eyes just like normal and we are going to do I'm going to do a little bit of cream color with this. So I'm going to start with the apricot twist. If I can find a little piece of this here. She looks like she got some lashes on. I'm going to need that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know she, she does. She, she, pulls, on, she pulls them off at on. the very end. Does she? <laughs> okay, close for me. Now, so you can use cream eye colors or eye primer to make your eye makeup waterproof and crease resistant. Either one is perfect. I love the eye, the cream eye colors. I think they're fantastic. I love to wear them by themselves as well as a primer underneath the makeup. You can put them on with your fingers or you can put them on with the cream concealer brush. Do you like cream under the powder? I, well, I'm going to do both. So they both do very different things. The cream is going to act like a base, so it's going to intensify the color, um, keep your eyeshadow, your powder eyeshadow on, like super glue. So we want to always add the creams first, and then we're going to add the powders after that. But it's just a fun way to do primer. Sorry. And you can wear them by themselves, too. So during the summer, I am always wearing the cream colors by themselves. No. Okay, so we're going to do a little Not brow like. touch up because Viola has some nice she shaped said. brows. Okay, she said. Keep them both And in. not too much. So I'm not like. But definitely filled in. Just following your natural line. Yeah. Do I need to stop? Mm mm. I was just trying to get more, you know, even instead of looking up. So just, you can see the difference. Just giving her just a little bit oh of my. filling in. Can you get a little good picture of that? And show a little bit of espresso yes. powder. Because you know I'm a powder girl versus a pencil. I think it just gives a more natural look. Because the last thing you want is a lot of harsh eyebrows. And most people, that espresso powder is going to be perfect. If you're a little bit fairer, and I mean like really fair, or what color are you using? Espresso. Okay, and so you got to be really fair. Do, do driftwood or hazelnut? Like blonde, 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 blonde. Not fake blonde. Don't look at my roots. Do not zoom in on the roots. <laughs> it's getting fixed on Friday. It is a mess. <laughs> it's just a mess. Okay, so with Viola. What I love about her is she follows that rule of that matte up top. So she's not doing any shimmer up here by the brow. She's keeping it all matte. And actually, she's going a little bit darker, so I'm going to take a little bit of hazelnut. Because on Stephanie's coloring, hazelnut is not going to be too dark. So I'm mixing with a little bit of sweet cream, too. Don't be afraid to mix and match your colors to get the perfect shade that you want. And to keep yourself, like me, from getting bored. Because I have a tendency to get very, very bored. Okay, and now on the inside corner, 
What she's doing, which you'll see is a really big trend right now for fall 2014, is a silver on the inside. So instead of your typical honey spice or your moonstone, taking a little bit of silver and popping it in there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the polished stone, which is a shimmer, and it's gonna be light enough for her. So if you're in that ivory beige coloring, you might not be able to pull off this polished stone. You might have to go with a little bit of sterling, maybe mixed with crystalline or something like that to keep it pretty light. We want to keep that a light color and shimmery to keep those eyes pulled apart. I'm just taking it and blending it about halfway through. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is she's got a lot of like red brown tones to her next color and I'm going to do truffle maybe mixing with a little bit of copper glow mm -hmm. I remember truffle folks because I have it forever it's so pretty. It's pretty see how that pulls just a really nice reddish brown I love a reddish brown it's a really flattering color Right down in this crease, and I'm pulling it down a little bit lower too. With her eye shape, I can get away with that. You're gonna be so Viola Davis. Or what's her name, Annalise? Uh, what's her last name, Carmen? In the show, girl, I don't know. Isn't it a great <laughs> show, though. Mm -hmm. I'm like so obsessed. I've never seen it. Oh, well, you should not get hooked. It's super wonderful. It's so scandal, like, uh, I think Shonda Range or Ryan or whatever her name is, is genius. Okay, so now we're going to finish this off. And what we're going to do is a real thick, smudgy coal. Okay, so I'm going to keep this. on the outer quarter like I normally would, but I'm going to smudge it a little bit thicker than I normally would. Because with this trend, it's, it's very, everything is very blended together. You're not seeing a whole bunch of different colors distinctive. It's all just really blending together. So I'm going to take it up a little bit higher and I'm going to move it over just a little bit more. And once again, with Stephanie's eye shape, I can get away with that. She doesn't have a close set hooded eye or anything that would cause me to not be able to do this. Okay. It's very subtle, but it's really pretty. Yeah, and if you can see, it, you know, it's, she definitely, and I think that's a professional woman, high-powered woman, where you don't want the makeup to distract. Mm -hmm. take away from the professionalism you can see that in her character everything's very classy but very on trend as well so this is definitely a professional woman and this is you know just because we're doing it recreating an African American look on an African American woman does not mean that you can't take this trend and these even these very similar colors and change them for your skin type and eye shape Okay. I'm going to come back through and get that liner once again with that coal and really intensify that lash line. Definitely going on the lower lashes.
Man, you know what we should do? Is after the new year, we should do, um, re everybody bring in who they want to recreate. That would be fun. Whether it's, we could have like a music night, we could have a movie night, TV. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Because I love recreating. It gives you such inspiration. Let's not forget that one. Okay. I hope you're talking to yourself when you say that. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, good. You're doing Remind well. Heather to say... I didn't think so. <laughs> so. I thought you were writing that down. Okay, look up for me. Okay, evidently I'm taking a note. Are you recording? No, I'm talking about the notes. No, I'm taking Are you hearing okay. my voice? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to clean up, and you know what I do not have is a cotton ball or... I do. Um, Can I put this on? Yes. Okay, so now of course why we do eye makeup first is so we can pick up all the powder that's falling down. Look up for me. So take moisturizer. It's perfect. Don't use a, um, like a thick moisturizer, just your basic time-wise moisturizer or your botanical moisturizer. Cheapy sponges. Pick up all that powder that's falling down. And this if you don't do eyes first, anybody here, this should sell you on why you do eyes first, because that's all the powder that came off with that moisturizer. And that would you be walking around with all of that sitting on your foundation, looking like a hot mess. And I don't do my eyes first. Nobody does. It is, um, it's one of those things I learned in one of my makeup classes, and I was like, why do we not all do this? Because that's not the way I grew up. I, know, I always put all the oh, actually I, probably yeah. Okay, so you know my new thing is because I love product. I'm a product junkie. Is to use CC cream as your foundation primer because CC cream has CC cream. I'm gonna tell you about CC cream. It is a moisturizer, sunscreen, foundation. Foundation primer and concealer in one step. So you don't have to do all the. Really? Exactly. Yeah. This is a low maintenance girl's dream come true. It is a high maintenance girl. I'm raising my hand. You can't see anything. <laughs> your eyes are closed. Dream come true as well because then I can labor it. And so a low maintenance girl will just go out the door with the CC cream on, looking beautiful. It evens out your skin tone. Does all those steps for you. You don't need any primer. Nope. Primer's in it. So tonight I'm using it as a primer, but Instead you could stuff. leave. What? Instead of the little. Instead of foundation primer. Yep. Okay, you want to see? Pause that for me just one second. Keep that out so I can. <laughs> keep that on my. Keep that on my out so I can get that later. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna come back through, and I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation on because we're going for the big screen here. And big screen needs um, really great foundation coverage. Perfectly even foundation. Now, are all these liquids? Mm hmm. Okay. Now, why are we all liquid versus like a cream? Um, these are all, like, this is a liquid foundation mm -hmm. because it's going to even out. It's not going to sit in lines and wrinkles, okay. make you look airbrushed without feeling like you've got anything on your face, which is what I want. And especially, you know, pictures, TV, movies, the kinds of things we're talking about here. You want that perfectly even coverage, but you don't want to see it. Right. I don't want to make myself look so made up. Exactly. You don't want to, you know, when they zoom in, you don't want to see the makeup on your face like that. Okay. Keep everything out you put on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Okay. So I'm going to come back through with my liquid foundation brush, a little bit of bronze foundation, and she's got great skin, so it's not like I have to come back through and cover a lot of things like I sometimes have to. 
We're just going to touch So up. when you use that CC cream, mm -hmm. you don't actually need to have a concealer. Oh. I cannot believe that. I have to get that. Yeah. I still will use highlighting pen because highlighting pen does highlighting something. Highlighting pen is better than concealer? Yes. For under eye circles. Absolutely. That's what I hate. And you'll see what I do here for that. <laughs> like I'm not, I don't even use concealer. Ever. Ever. Anymore. Except for if I've got people with a lot of acne, mm -hmm. then I sometimes, but our, our foundation is amazing. It covers everything. So you'll notice that I picked a foundation that brings out the gold mm -hmm. in her skin because that will make her look brighter and more youthful. Instead of red or brown undertone. And do you always put that on with a brush? Uh, yeah, love it. It makes it go on perfectly even. Okay, look up for me. I'm going to hit the underneath your eyes just a smidge. Okay, so just a little bit of foundation there. And as a side note, um, bronze three, if you want a gold foundation, that is it. Okay, now, you look so pretty. Okay, hold on, you got to look at that. <laughs> Look, okay, so you saw the CC cream. Uh -huh. Now you saw a touch. If you saw how much I used, you would be shocked. Not much at all. But look how, like, stunning your skin looks. It looks even. Real even. Beautiful. You look bright and youthful. <laughs> <laughs> I love bright and youthful. Okay, so now we're going to do a highlighting pen. Now, bronze three, or sorry, shade four. I don't know why. On foundation here. This is going to be too dark for her as a highlighting pen. Okay, mm -hmm. she's not dark enough for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix, which is something you probably have never seen me do. I'm going to mix shade two and shade four together. I'm going to do the same thing with it. We should call tonight's class how to mix product because I think that's all I've done is take colors and mix them. This is called breaking the rules and I try to do that whenever possible. That would just be my personality. Okay, look up for me. That goes with how to get away with my Exactly. I would be so good at that. Just kidding. I've watched enough Malwalk in my life that I could commit murder. Girl. What'd you just say? I watched enough Malwalk in my life. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I've watched enough of them uh, Law and Order. Oh, uh, I can, yeah. Criminal yes. Minds, CSI. Yes, all yes. of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all of it. Mm -hmm. I just stop watching them because then Tim's gone and I freak out. Check <laughs> <laughs> every door and window before I <laughs> Then don't watch Stalker. Oh, oh, I got that one on DVR too. I want to yeah. keep on my fish. One more thing. I'll, nope, not doing it. Yeah, no, I'm I like that one. I, I like do that too, one. but yeah. <laughs> I just shouldn't do it. You like Scorpion? Oh, I haven't seen that one. Is it good? It's yes, just a bunch good. of geniuses. Oh, yes, I do like that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if you can see oh, just you. that half side of her face, this is a highlighting pen. Oh, okay. See this half? I see the difference. Just yeah. brighter right there. Mm -hmm. What happens is it looks like, if you look straight at the camera, look. it looks like somebody has pulled up half of her face. And when I put it on, I'm like, I look all wonky on that side because it just lifts everything up, really lifts her cheekbones <laughs> up. Oh, there you go. Okay, we can see. Isn't that beautiful? And so what this does is not just a shade lighter. It actually has light reflecting qualities in it. So when light hits it, it's going to bounce. That's where you get this fresh, vibrant, youthful look. And that the light is bouncing off. And concealer only absorbs light. It won't bounce. So 
So you want to use highlighting pen whenever possible. Get that down into your lash lines through here, above your lash lines, above your eyebrows. Give yourself a little lift up here, just like that. Okay, and that's mixing shade four and shade two together. Your washcloth is going to be a mess after I'm done with it. That's all right. It's washable. Okay. Now, translucent powder. We're going to set your makeup with a very light dusting of translucent powder. I would have been done my makeup a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, if we weren't talking, you would have been done. <laughs> if you, when, you get this done, when you get this down in front of you, seven minutes. Really? Absolutely. Because mostly because I'm not yammering. The yammer time <laughs> takes a little bit longer. Okay, so light dusting just to set. You know, if you've never heard me talk about this powder before, let me take the opportunity to tell you this is a game-changing product for Mary Kay. It just breaks all the rules, once again, of, of powder in general. Powder is not supposed to make you look younger. It's not supposed to airbrush your face. It's not supposed to make you glow. It's supposed to set makeup and absorb oil, which it also does. But this has a glow effect, and it's like a buffer. You'd use circles on your face with translucent powder. Lines and wrinkles buff out. Pores buff out. It is beautiful. Dang, you make me feel like I'm a good one. <laughs> <laughs> we can buff. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take a little bit of light to medium bronzer. And I'm just going to hit the highlights of her cheeks. So upper cheekbones, like a highlighter. And in Viola Davis's makeup, you see a lot of highlighting, a lot of brightening, and a lot of lifting. And that's what we're going to do here. So just above the cheekbones, there. And then, I think I saw, she's got like a, a dark cherry mm -hmm. cheek color that's on her. Right. So I'm going to do dark cherry, but you know my rule is you got to mix it with citrus bloom. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a little bit of dark cherry, I'm going to take a little bit of citrus bloom, and if you see what I'm doing here, that's dark cherry and that's citrus bloom. Why are you going to mix Dark it? cherry, citrus bloom. Because citrus bloom has lift to it, it has brightness, it has life do into you, it. I mean, you're mixing, do you normally mix that with something else? Yeah, I oh, usually wear this by itself. Oh, okay. So either by itself or mix it with something, okay. I don't care, but you've got to use citrus bloom. Got okay. So we're going to go high on cheekbones. I'm going to be ready for the red carpet in about 2.2 <laughs> 2 seconds. And she really has a, a really nice amount of cheek color on. be the perfect time for her to take a new Facebook thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be taking it with my blue eye. <laughs> do like a side selfie. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. That's what we should do is we should do a makeup class, a, um, selfie, class? a selfie class, or a Facebook profile pic. Mm -hmm. Come update your. I got, I got ideas. Are you writing this down? You writing this down? Sorry, I'm writing this down. Sorry. Okay. I'm Jeez. sorry, Why Emily. <laughs> All of these ideas that we're keeping track of, I'm just putting asterisks next to them. Okay. Gorgeous, stunning, amazing. And then her lips, we're going to stay really nude and sparkly. Oh, so if you were a director, you would have gotten a very special package this week. And we got some new lip glosses. Sparkleberry. They're amazing. It's like Sassy Fuchsia and Fancy Nancy had a baby, <laughs> right? A couple of them. And like they're all different color babies. <laughs> and they're just beautiful babies that look just, they're amazing. Yeah, Sparkleberry and Shock Chart. And there's another one coming that's another pink. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of color with a lipstick, but it's going to be pretty nude with a little bit of shimmer. And that to me says exotic mango. Have you guys worked with this color yet? Mm -mm. Oh, it is gorgeous. Okay, 
And then you can either use beach bronze or um, rich spice, which for some reason I don't have in my little repertoire over here. But rich spice is beautiful as well. Yes, it is. Love it, love it. Do you wear it a lot, Carmen? I might have it. I don't know. That's okay. Maybe this one. This will be. It's good to have options. And you can't wear rich spice unless you've got a darker skin tone. But if you do, it's a beautiful color. If you are an ivory six, you don't get to wear <laughs> rich spice. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Hairspray for your face, clothes for me. What about eye? What about uh, mascara? Mascara. I don't have any mascara ones. I do. It's right there. Throw me one. Right there. Thank you. Mm hmm. Okay. I got you. See? Can you tell me, Gotta have some <laughs> mascara. <laughs> and That's right. If you wanted a false eyelash look, what you need is one coat of lash primer, one coat of ultimate mascara, which is what we're doing here, and one coat of lash love. It is amazing. Beautiful things happen with that. Look to your knees for me. Okay. She is. Beautiful. Stunning. Is that the word we're looking for here? Because that's what I'm feeling. Viola Davis. Ooh, I love the cheek color. It's really beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I think Desiree, we are done. Okay.